Johnny Rotten and John Lydon are interchangeable. interchangeable. Exactly it's a nickname, and you, you're not to take nicknames too serious. I mean, sometimes they stick permanently. Uh, I, I'm indifferent. Uh, I've been called far worse things in my life. Uh, but, but I, you I were... am what I am, and I tell it like it is. I have no time for nonsense. But what you were doing on stage was trying, succeeding, trying to shock. No, no, I didn't think so. I felt that that was just uh, me being angry and expressing my anger as honestly as I could. And uh, I was quite amazed by the, the resentment that that kicked up in a lot of people. And, uh, of course, the shock horror. I mean, it's quite amazing. It sets you back and you look back at that and you go, ha, 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 what fun. But it wasn't fun at the time. It was uh, being consistently misunderstood and I thought deliberately so. Uh, uh, you had a media there that was fully entrenched in talking nonsense and rubbish. And, uh, of course, uh, a chap like me who stood up and uh, absolutely completely changed the face of, of pop music at that time. I was offering a, a, a more honest approach and a, a much more sensible message. A direct assault, if you want, on mediocrity. What you were doing then was what every young person w no. with a bit of energy no, no, no. and every a bit of interest person, in life. And that is being anti-establishment. Stop it. Don't be silly. That's, that's, that's neither here nor there. That's just... Like, well, you weren't anti-establishment. Back, that's a backdrop of nothing. I was standing up and being counted. I made my opinions very clear. And you can't lighten that load at all. It was no fun to be discussed in the Houses of Parliament under a Traitors and Treasons Act. That wasn't like what everybody was doing. Great publicity. Great publicity. It carried a death sentence, mate. Let's well, get real serious, right? Well, you're still here. Yeah, I am, aren't I? Right? Because I stood up and made sure that if anybody was going to try and put me down in that way using institutions like that, I was more than capable of standing up against it. My opinions of the monarchy are well known. I do not resent them as human beings. Let's get that absolutely clear. But I resent the institution that demands my obligation. You get my loyalty... By example, so you have to win it. So what you don't recruit me willy nilly. You don't tell me what to do, and you don't point a direction and prod me with a stick. And that's the education system that I had to go through and suffer. I stood up. I got counted. What were you trying to achieve? Were you more interested in influencing music, or? Politics or the way we live. Oh, what, not, what was uh, the object of the well, exercise? Well, one thing at a time. Music. Well, of course, I was bored with what was going on out there, and I thought, well, I, I've got a different angle here. Uh, but the music is shared with the other members of the band, so there's like a there's a nice little mix of ideas going on there. It's not just me declaring it's all this way or not. But lyric-wise, that's always been my thing. I mean, I loved reading. I loved writing. Uh, it just seemed that that's, that's was a golden opportunity. I would not have got in any other way if I'd have followed the normal music route. I don't sing like anybody else. I, I don't even know if I know how to. You know, I've, I've got no real interest at all in learning the routines of music. I, I live outside of that. I live outside of them agendas. I'm a free soul, a free spirit. You wanted to change attitudes. What you haven't succeeded in doing is changing society. And if that's what you really were setting out to do all those years ago... <laughs> you put an awful lot on me, don't you? Well, it was you claiming I, it. No, <laughs> that's no, That's what no, you said no, you wanted to do. sausage. I never stood up and <laughs> go... Know, I've never been called I a silly sausage on over I have never, ever said I want to change society. It was so my words, not yours, but that's the point of the message you were delivering. Society can remain the same ad infinitum if it so wishes. This is not of an interest to me. Just don't dictate to me that I should toe the line along with the rest of you because I'm not going to do that. But you can't be both outside the establishment looking in and saying, I want to change things or I am says different. Who? Says you. Well, says, says you. you. Says don't you. tell me what to do. You're, don't tell me nothing. Don't tell me what to wear. Don't tell me what to think. I mean you no harm. I'll let you trundle on as merrily as you like. It's, I'm indifferent to that, so long as you do not step into my space. So what do you want to do with the rest of your life? Uh, work. Work hard. At? 
at anything at all that comes my way. All right, what about Sex Pistols, the musical? No, 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 no. If, if I'm going to do that, and of course, there'd be rewrites, and I, I don't want to go back and rev- revision my past. And I certainly don't want a bunch of strangers contemplating my navel. John Lydon or Johnny Rotten, whichever you prefer. Many thanks. <laughs>